Lead, zinc deposits in carbonated environments. Lead zinc deposits are typically found in sedimentary rocks that formed in carbonated marine environments. These deposits are the result of the accumulation of minerals such as galena, lead sulfide, and sphalerite, zinc sulfide, in the rocks. These minerals form through a process known as hydrothermal mineralization, which involves the movement of hot fluids through the rock, carrying with them the minerals that eventually precipitate out of the solution. In carbonated environments, these minerals typically form in limestone, dolomite, or other carbonate rocks. These rocks are more permeable than other sedimentary rocks, which allows the hot fluids to move through them more easily. The presence of carbonates in the rock also contributes to the chemical reactions that allow the minerals to form. As the hot fluids cool and the minerals begin to precipitate, they can accumulate in concentrations that are economically viable for mining. Lead zinc deposits in carbonated environments are typically associated with faults and fractures in the rocks, which provide pathways for the hydrothermal fluids to move through the rock. These faults and fractures can also create zones of increased permeability, which further enhance the movement of the fluids. The formation of lead zinc deposits in carbonated environments is a complex process that can take millions of years. However, these deposits have played an important role in human history, providing the raw materials for many industries, including construction, electronics, and transportation. Today, the mining and extraction of lead and zinc from these deposits remains an important economic activity in many parts of the world. How are lead zinc deposits formed in carbonate environments? Lead zinc deposits in carbonate environments are typically formed through a combination of hydrothermal and sedimentary processes. These deposits are found in areas where there was once a large body of shallow water or a shallow marine environment, such as reefs or carbonate platforms. The deposits are formed from the precipitation of lead and zinc minerals from hydrothermal fluids that migrate through the rocks and sediments. The source of the fluids is often associated with magmatic activity, which can create high-temperature hydrothermal systems that transport metals from deep within the Earth's crust to shallower levels. As these fluids migrate through the rocks, they interact with the surrounding carbonate minerals, causing them to dissolve and create open spaces for the mineralization to occur. During this process, lead and zinc minerals can be precipitated in veins, breccias, or replacement zones within the carbonate rocks. These minerals can also be transported in solution and deposited in other parts of the deposit, such as in the form of disseminated sulfides or as coatings on sediment grains. The formation of these deposits is often controlled by a variety of factors, including the composition of the host rocks, the temperature and pressure of the hydrothermal fluids, and the availability of metals in the system. In addition, the timing of mineralization events can also play a role in the formation of these deposits, as they may occur during periods of tectonic activity or changes in sea level that can affect the hydrology of the system. Overall, the formation of lead zinc deposits in carbonate environments is a complex process that is influenced by a variety of geological factors. Understanding the processes that control these deposits is important for the exploration and extraction of these important metal resources. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.